Prepare yourself for Class 1A Division 1 Substate Volleyball. Six teams, single elimination, the winner goes to state, everyone else goes home. The Ashland Blue Jays, Maxwell Mustangs, Spearville Lancers, St. John Hudson Tigers, and Langdon Fairfield Falcons arrived in Coldwater, Kansas. Host team, the South Central High School Lady Timberwolves, were waiting for their chance to prove their volleyball supremacy. First game of the day, Maxwell Lady Mustangs versus Ashland Lady Jays. A great start to the tournament as both teams got each other's measure. However, Maxwell soon established a strong lead, which they carried through the end of the first game for a score of 25 to 11. Second game saw a tighter game on the part of Ashland. It wasn't enough as the Lady Blue Jays succumbed to the Lady Stangs in the second game as well, this time 25 to 13. Next up, Spearville versus Fairfield. Either team started out strong here. In fact, they didn't start warming up until the second match. The Lady Lancers gelled in the second match, though, and the Lady Falcons did very little to stop them. Spearville asserted to its dominance here, taking the second game by 10 points and sending Fairfield packing. Now for the semifinals. St. John had a bye the first round, so their semifinals match against Maxwell was their first in the tournament. Lady Mustangs had plenty of momentum from their previous games and matching that would not be easy. That said, the Lady Tigers managed to stabilize and eventually take the lead in the first game, effectively nullifying Maxville's momentum. The second match saw Maxville trying to regain the upper hand. By now, the Lady Tigers were in control. Although they had a good back and forward toward the middle of the contest, the Lady Stangs were not able to match St. John's tenacity. St. John's Lady Tigers advanced to the finals with a score of 25 to 13 eagerly awaiting their chance to take on the winner of the next match. Spearville was determined to face St. John at the final. At first, they would have to get through the Lady Timberwolves of South Central High School. In what was probably the most exciting game of the day, the Lady Lancers clung ferociously to their lead, but in a quick turn, South Central found itself on top, just edging out Spearville with a score of 25 to 21. The second match was just as intense as both teams struggled to keep the advantage. It seemed that Spearville had the momentum, but the Lady T Wolves were not going to give up so easily, going ahead with just enough of a lead to take the second game 25 to 23. Which leads us to the final, as host team South Central faced the number one ranked St. John Lady Tigers. Both squads leapt into action, keeping a solid back and forth for most of the game. Over toward the end, the Lady T Wolves seemed to be slowing down advantage that St. John capitalized on. The first game went to St. John, 25 to 20. The second game was not quite as exciting as the first as the Lady Timberwolves continued to wear down. St. John kept their energy up, which catapulted them to a 10-point win. Congratulations to Lady Tigers. Look for them this weekend in Hayes as they try to win the 1A Division I state title.